Hello, welcome to SeafoodSource.com. We're coming to you from the 2013 European Seafood Exposition. I'm Sean Murphy, Seafood Source Editor. I'm here with Liz Plisga, the show director. And uh, Liz, uh, you know, you think this is day three, so you think we'd be winding down, but it really isn't. Everything's uh, moving pretty good. Uh, things have been doing really well. Yeah, no, it's been an intense three days. It really has. Attendance has been really solid. Um, we've seen growth in the number of companies participating in the event. This year we have 1,694 companies. Definitely an, eight, an increase over last year. Definitely an increase over last year. What does that say about the industry to you? Well, I, you know, they come from 76 countries, so it's truly an indication that this is a global event. Mm -hmm. It's also an indication that the industry is strong even amidst the economic condition. And things are going really well at our sister show just, just across the hall here, the Seafood Processing Europe. Tell us about that. Yeah, no, we actually sold out of uh, Pavilion 4, which wow. is where we hold Seafood Processing Europe. So we added space in, in Exhibit Hall 11, mm -hmm. which was exciting. Um, so we've definitely seen a lot of growth in that segment. Yeah, we were over there the other day checking out some of the machines, some of the equipment going on there. A lot, a lot of really exciting demos, some yep. new products, a lot of neat stuff to check out. And uh, the show's still going strong. We're not finished yet. No, uh, no. So, so keep, keep watching here. Keep yep. watching SeafoodSource.com for more news and information from the 2013 European Seafood Exposition.